because I think Brady is the ultimate American. <laughs> I was like, he really is, to be honest. He's like, no allegations, just bangs his model wife and kisses his kids on the lips, just lays low. <laughs> Can't have boulders in, in, in San That's Francisco. That's so stupid. Anymore. Just lays low, bro. <laughs> And it took me out. He's like, it's facts only. It's like he, he never even got a rub and tug with Robert Kraft, just a real family guy. <laughs> True. I mean, <laughs> not wrong. So they placed uh the neighborhoods frustrated in San Francisco. Why? I guess they put boulders to uh block the homeless. <laughs> So now the people are feuding. They do weird stuff to block the homeless all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> Reddit it, bro. I'm woke. <clears throat> oh, you're an absolute fucking idiot. Who? Who? What? Who? What? What you said about San Francisco? Oh, no. I said Josh is a fucking idiot. <sighs> oh. That's what I said. I kiss my ass. You kiss my ass. El weekend. You slow. El weekend. A hey, weekend. <laughs> check. Check, check, check. Oh, can I pull this up so I can sit back? Are we no. closing that door? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. On air. Hey! Quiet on the set, Lobo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. I just want to let you know that you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like I said, Dude, what the fuck is your deal? Are we back? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a deal. You just came in the door and had, fuck you. First thing comes out of your mouth. What's wrong with that? That's rude. It's not rude. Let's do it. Uh, all right. So now I got to find my intro. Yeah, because you just dropped the ball all over the place. Is that why you're so mad? Because you're just fucking up so much? Yeah, what's going on, Jeremy? Hey, if someone, He's having a rough day. If, if we need else, you back to earth, man. If someone else wants to do this. No, not at all. Guess. Not at all. Fuck, I thought. Shut up. I better be bullshit. What? That better be bullshit. What's bullshit? What better be that bullshit? better be bullshit. Nice. What's bullshit? We could use them. I mean, oh. yeah, but I don't know if I could deal with that, man. <laughs> Honey, you've got a big storm coming. I don't know. It just happened. That was the lowest intro I've ever heard. Where, where did that even come out of? I don't know, bro. I mean, are we, are we, I mean, uh, we're live. We're live. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> All right. Um, what the fuck just happened? Two week hiatus. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. To don't touch anything. <laughs> Dude, it might break. Took us, <laughs> took us 45 minutes just to get to this point. <laughs> Man, when we were supposed to start early. <laughs> Well, at least we got here early. This might get loud. Episode number 15. That intro was terrible. It's not going to be terrible <coughs> for our audience because... Um, They'll hear it I'll differently. Yeah, I'll fix it. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're back after a two-week hiatus. Um, I am Jeremy Corus. I am here with Boom and Edgar the Car Guy yeah, once yeah. again. Um, <laughs> we're actually in like a new space. Got a new room. You can't really see ear, it. Ear. Yeah. You know why we got a new space? Because bitch boy that blocked me. We took his room. Yes, we did. We did. We we did block. Josh had a roommate move out. Um, <clears throat> Hashtag don't be a little Brianna. <laughs> <laughs> I like where this episode's going. By the way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right. All right. But anyway, we're in a new space. You are we guys, just gonna? Are we just you gonna guys take won't be shots all episode because I'm so about it. You guys won't be able to. <laughs> Uh, see the difference, but we do, and we're a lot more comfortable. And I'm not sitting as close to Josh as I normally am, and I'm very this, happy about this that. Space. Our knees aren't touching anymore, so mm, no, they are not. Chubb is only a half mass this week. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever say the word half mast to me again. <laughs> Just laying low, Fucking. being low key. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back uh, after a two-week oh, hiatus. This shit. is this Whoa. is probably this is probably not going to be a very good episode. Um, uh, yeah, it's going to be better than the last episode because that was fucking trash. It was. 
Chavez. <laughs> Man, I was drunk. <laughs> Were you? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah was, I don't know that, how to handle your liquor. I was good. Well, well, what's crazy is like I'm going, we did I, that episode and you had to edit out like forty five minutes. Yeah, it was, it was our longest 42, episode too. It was forty two minutes that I edited out. Of Man. That. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, we are back. This is definitely going to be better than last episode. I'm going. Uh, what are you doing? Hey, to you too. I don't fucking know what the <laughs> okay, fuck. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're all kinds of fucked up. Technical right now, bro. difficulties. This, is, this sucks. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bro. Whoa! Up, up. This Yo, is fucking that? How horrible. How you guys been though? You guys been good? Yeah, I, right? yeah, we've been great. I've been, I've been good. Jeremy's fucking lit up, bro. Minshew's out here. Just Dude, all right. Work. So yes, Gardner Minshew is a legend and will continue to be a legend. And I'm very happy that we're one and two. I've Dude, never a- been so fucking happy to be one and two in my life. And Giants and won Sunday. The Giants beat yeah. the box. So that's right. Bro, literally that kicker. 37 yard field goal, bro. And two two uh PAs miss. Yeah. Miss. It's, I mean, he it, missed the first one, got it, blocked the second one. It's called a PAT, but yeah, yeah we'll, we'll let that slide. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, you actually uh, get Jameis Winston actually giving you a decent game. Mike Evans plays out of his fucking mind and then just blow it. Yeah, Mike Evans is on my fantasy team, and I was very happy. Daniel Jones played out of his fucking mind, too. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to— um, I, I, I'm not going to— I'm not going to go, like— I'm not going to like take back every negative thing I've said about him because it was the box, but he looks good. Yeah, he looks good. Daniel Jones, he, he yeah, I, I was uh, impressed with what I saw. But again, it's Tampa Bay. So. You're still fucked, Edgar, because it doesn't look good for Saquon. Probably not. No, Saquon blew out his fucking ankle. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, was- uh, Giants fans, been there. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Fournette does it every year, so. That's cool. Uh, anyway, so we're we're back uh, another week, another dollar in a dream. Um, yeah, the dollar, in a dollar in a dream. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh so God. we've got a uh, lot to talk about. We're probably not going to talk about it all. Why not? Um, well, I mean, not everything that happened in the last two weeks. I mean, yeah, so much went on, and we missed so much. But gosh, I mean, y- y'all peeped the haircut, though, right? Mm-hmm. You paid for that. Yes. Come on. Bro. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm going to... Half gonna, off. I'm going to pull a Dave Franklin, uh, this is called. And the one time I got a haircut and I can't, I showed up to work and he goes, Jeremy, is that you? You got that new haircut, right? That, that You just got that? I'm like, yeah, dude. I did. And he's like, oh, okay. That, that's the new style? I'm like, yeah, I guess. It's like, oh, yeah. Well, yeah. My, 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 uh, my uh, sister's gay friend has it. it looks great on him. <laughs> yeah, <that's good. laughs> Straight face and everything. And he he did subscribe to our channel. So uh, yeah, by shout the way, out to Franklin. Yeah, shout out to Franklin. And by the way, fuck you for that comment. It's been a year, and I'm still pissed about it. And dude, so. I can't believe y'all going to I that forgot. barber. Though. It just made me realize just how fucking retarded. The, the I last time Joe Bishop came from your barber. His hairline was like this. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Bro, that motherfucker, it was terrible. Has, that motherfucker has a crooked head. Dog. He's I was about to say, I've only seen head, a picture man. of that dude twice, and he got a weird head. <laughs> He's got an oddly shaped Of course, head. I'm going to agree. Go to the same barber. Of course, you're going to disagree. You don't go to the same barber. No, my barber is a lot. Everybody knows better. that's code 101. You got to be loyal to your barber. Yeah, I'm very For loyal. sure. That was the first haircut I had here since my only barber that I had back home. So, honestly, I was kind of on strike, but it was better than looking like a bum. Yeah. I mean, it was like flowing. I was going to shout out the barber that we use, but now I'm not going to. <laughs> you Edgar, can't. Cause, no, because right. Edgar was a dick, so we're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Bro, I've been getting looks, I won't shout though. out my. How about that? There was like the, the girl in the Popeye's drive through. She's just… Bro. I think… Is she, isn't she? is she on video documented somewhere? What? <laughs> never mind. Was, never mind, bro. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not flashing that video up on the screen, by the way. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> saw that on Twitter one time randomly. I was like, fuck. Yeah, so uh, in, anyway, I have 
uh, deleted my social medias because fuck social media. And I've been, like, way happier because of it lately. It's been awesome, dude. Like it's kind of it's kind of cool. Plus, I do I do enough social media for literally all of us put together. So that that fun. that's absolutely go. true. Um, yeah. No. What, what's our first topic, man? Because I'm I'm all over the place. What's today. this cancel uh, culture? What's going on, dude? It was something that Jeremy and I talked about a few weeks ago, and we never really got around to talking to it on the pod. But I wanted to kind of bring it back, just the whole cancel culture and how okay. weird it is sometimes. Like, I get certain. Aspects of it, but I think that was part of the conversation I edited out in the other pod. Yeah, really? Yeah, so I'm bringing it back. Edgar doesn't remember. No, <laughs> dude, we were all pretty fucked up. <laughs> not I as was bad not as you guys. I was not. I was trying to mediate. I did. And I quote, I was just buzzed enough to miss all of it. <laughs> <laughs> that means Jeremy was pretty tossed. <laughs> Jeremy will never tell you he's drunk. He's buzzed. Always. <laughs> I'm here. I'm, Am I, I wrong? I was feeling nice. I no, wasn't I'm not. toe I'm up not. to the I'm flow not. up. No, you're, you're wrong. No, I'm not. Jeremy never told straight. me he's anything but buzzed. I've seen him drink an entire fifth and be buzzed. No. Heavy buzz. I, I drank straight. <laughs> It's a good Such buzz. A buzzed. It's a good buzz, bro. You drunk? No, heavy buzz. <laughs> so back to uh, cancel, cancel culture. culture. Cancel culture. Oh, it's kind of. I mean, I get it in certain aspects, where like there's things that people they can't be forgiven for. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like you get the internet that's just looking for a reason to cancel somebody. It's like, oh, he fucked up six years ago on Twitter. I have the screenshot of it. Yep. Yeah. He was 11, but fuck him. He's never getting anywhere in the industry ever. Cancel uh, I him. think I think I I thought of that topic one time and it brought it up because we had both seen the Dave Chappelle, the new Dave Chappelle special and watching him maneuver through every single topic. That, that was, was a good super show. Super offensive and watching him do that like an absolute genius was awesome. Yeah. And uh, uh yeah, I mean it's just kind of like everyone piles on everyone just it, it, it they all pile onto a bandwagon no matter what it is and they just I mean, they will cancel. So, like, with Kevin Hart and the Oscars, like, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Like, the guy said that shit, like, the better part of a decade prior, and they were like, nope, can't host the Oscars. So, oh, okay. gotta ban them. I mean, we're getting to a day and age where it's getting kind of out of hand, but I've noticed with the comedic culture specifically, as there's starting to be a little bit of pushback. A little bit. I like it. I bit. like it. Because it's... A joke, right? Yes. It's a, it's a joke. I mean, yeah, there's certain lines that I guess, but at the end of the day, if you don't like it, don't watch it. That's that's yeah. kind of my view on it. That's yeah, I would agree. I mean, there's certain things where I get it. Yeah, don't 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 fucking drop a hard R and shit. Like that's we're, nope. We're, we're, that, that, yeah, that's we're gonna no, cross no. it. We're gonna cross some lines there. You deserve to get canceled if you do that. Yeah. Hashtag Kramer. First, that dude, he was doing it. Yeah. yeah. You don't see him around anymore. No. Nope. You know, that same type of situation. But if you say retarded, I'm going to laugh. It's funny. You're retarded. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> Who was offended? I mean. No, I wasn't. Because you actually are retarded. But that's probably why. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Semantics. <laughs> uh, all right. So Facebook launched their dating service. It's what is it like Tinder? And, and I did scientific research because I have nothing better to do with my fucking day. <laughs> 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 so like you set up a fucking profile and it sucks. I'm gonna be honest. Like the way it's laid out, it's really weird. It's really confusing to first get up. And then it, it doesn't really explain, like, who your suggested matches are. Like, it, I guess it, like, takes things into consideration and just starts matching with people. So I'm like, there's two sides of the equation. It's like, I could just match with people that like the same type of meme pages that I like, and that just seems ideal. And then there's the other side of the equation where Yikes. every, like, literally the first 600, I'm going to say that number, that seems like a large enough number. Literally the first 600 people that were suggested matches made me scream. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Like you know, actually scream? So I'm not going to be that guy and be rude or something like that. I'm just going to say they weren't for me. <laughs> 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 I mean, 
They were all of them. They weren't for me. None of them. I would, I would rather stay in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Safer. They, they, it, it, they honestly looked like people that, um, not my last roommate here, but the one back home, the other altercation idiot. Yeah. Looked like people that he would date. Brian Hicks. Yes. All right. <laughs> yep. He would date them. Good, Good for him, they bro. They were bigger. A little bigger. They were bigger. Oh, okay. They were bigger. I mean, <laughs> three to five days a week at McDonald's, probably. Damn. <laughs> So they're the female equivalent of my brother. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but then no, my brother I, I, goes to Wendy's and gets a four for four, yeah. fucking six days a week, dude. But it's then disgusting. The, the sun, the sunshine came through, and then all of a sudden they just start flowing in good, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, things changed for you. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I was getting popping. I changed my changed my profile up, and like you got to like scroll through and select things, and I'm just like. I showed Jeremy my profile. Like my profile's dope. It's, yeah. it's not fair. I, luckily, I have a photographer that can literally take all my pictures. I, first time in my life, people yeah, are like, he's dope. "Are you are you a fake profile?" I'm like, "Bitch, I might be. I don't know. <laughs> no, you want me to be? No, you're. I mean, you definitely have a solid nine out of ten for a Tinder profile. It might be a ten. Okay, yeah, which is great considering I'm not an actual ten. I mean, I'm getting there. We're working at it, but." <sighs> I'd say a nine. You know, you always got to have something to work for. Like 5.9? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you meant, right? Yeah, that's definitely what I meant. That's definitely what I meant. I got a wicked personality, though. <laughs> Super dope personality. No, it's weird. I don't like it. We're not, I don't like it. I don't like it. I like how we're, how we're plugging your Tinder profile right now. Oh, go find me. You, didn't, you don't want to… Oh, what, is, what does my profile say right now? Oh, Jesus. I'll read it. It's pretty rough. Let me be honest. <laughs> it's long story short it's just like blah 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 you could find like the man of your dreams all of that and I, that's not me but I'll fuck you in the ass till he gets here <laughs> okay alright <laughs> we're gonna get a lot of dates I've gotten 10 matches since nice <laughs> <laughs> you just weed out the pack right out the gate yeah you sense know? of humor or not nah. that's basically what that does yeah it does that's not what I meant, but I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's worse. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> wow. He's right, too. Wow. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Sense of humor is important. That's fucked, Not as bro. much as your willingness to do it in the butt, though. Ooh. You need things in a pinch, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> That's fucking wild. Wow, this pod is just going to be all sorts of fucked. I just yeah. had so much just built up for like two weeks. Yeah. Why is HelloFresh calling you? It's because they gave me their free box and like I was supposed to, you know, buy more afterwards. And just free. Payment was declined? No, I turned it off. No. <laughs> I canceled it. Oh, that was a rude assumption. <laughs> <laughs> it's not untrue. I didn't, I didn't get it. Why? Payment declined? No. I canceled it before the payment could be declined. Nice. Yeah. All right, Post Malone's album. Do you guys listen to it? Listen I know. To I've what? made you listen I've to a I've listened bit of to it. a few tracks, not all of it. How? It's been out three weeks. Um, Fuck's wrong dude, I have family. I got things to do. It's literally <laughs> an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no, got Post, an hour, Post, bro. Post Malone's album. I mean, that Post's new album was awesome. Oh, no, I we listened say. to the majority of it here. Did we? I'm not. Because we didn't uh, pod. I had left, remember? Yeah. I only listened right. to a little bit of it. I am uh, going to, I'm going to go out and, on record and say I'm not the biggest Post Malone fan. I do enjoy his music, know, but I'm, I'm, not a, I'm, I'm not a fanboy, though, like you are. So, I'm not a fanboy. Like, I just no, you're think a fanboy. he's super talented. No, you're a fanboy. Oh. Um, and, <laughs> and, uh, no, it, it was awesome. I enjoyed just about every track on it. You're a fanboy. Fuck you. Of what? Teriyaki 6 9 Of Gardner Minshew? Teriyaki 6 9 <laughs> Jesus. I don't fucking I know. like 6 9 man. I, th I thought he had some good rhymes. I mean, Dude, fuck he went the wrong way. I don't care. He was 17. Do fuck 13 year old. No. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, Post Malone's new album was awesome. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed it. I, I mean, really like it. He really, it. he puts together, I mean, there's nobody catchier right nobody, now. Nobody, bro. Um, <laughs> he's like, you know, the new school, like, hip-hop influenced Rob Thomas. 
He's so catchy. So catchy. Everything he God, does is catchy. Fucking damn, Rob Thomas is catchy. Yep. But honestly, best verse on that entire album, Halsey. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Dude, her verse on that track was really top notch. Yeah, I mean, she's good. Dude, didn't she just put out an album too? I don't think it's out yet. It's not might out be, yet? Might I, be. Don't I don't know. fucking know, dude. All right. Come on. Cool. We touched on Post Malone's album. That's our album review of the week. How you like that? All right. Yeah, point neither today. of you listened to it. <laughs> I did listen to it. I just said I listened to it. That day that week. to me. Yeah, I've, I've never listened yeah, to it. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Antonio Brown's out here wilding. Antonio Brown. Wow. Uh, he's, he didn't even get started. He, nope. He played one game for the Patriots. Canceled. Scored a touchdown. They fired his ass. And then he went on an absolute tirade on Twitter saying how he's not playing in the NFL again. Like, that's something we didn't already know, Antonio. Right? Um, can't come back. But, you know. Oh, he, no one's going to pull him back. No. Yeah, he's taking shots at Robert Kraft. He's taking shots at. Why the, f- shots why at the fuck Robert. would you take shots at Robert Kraft? I don't know. That's just dumb. Voided his contract and fucking fired him after he scored a touchdown for him. Um, yeah, don't blame him. Uh, he's out here wilding. Uh, he's rape, a piece of rape shit. Rape accusations, all that. I mean, come on, man. I, what do you expect? Yeah. Like, this is like, come on. I'd expect nothing less Not than playing. anybody that went to CMU. Yep, that also true. Uh, very true. Central Michigan is where you went to college. Yep. Did he? Yep. Oh, uh, you want to hear about Central Michigan? What about? I'll me? tell you the first time I went to Welcome Weekend at Se- Central Michigan. You know, I'm, I, it's the first year where I really like went out and like I was like, I'm 21. I'm gonna go to all these tailgates and I'm gonna experience Welcome Week at all the crazy colleges, right? Because Michigan, a shit state. I hate it so much. But goddamn, do their colleges yeah, party trash. harder than fuck. <laughs> That's all there is so to do. We bro. go to CMU. Okay. The sun you know, comes out once every three days. Yeah, oh, so really? everybody gets yeah. loaded oh, wow. when the sun comes out. <laughs> yeah. But so we go there, and also I hear crazy commotion coming like from this house, like down the street. I'm like, well, let's go check it out. We go, and all of a sudden I just hear this chant: "Throw the dwarf! Throw the dwarf!" And there's this whole kiddie pool just full of beer. And they have this dwarf on their shoulder, like a little person. <laughs> oh, wow. And they're just pumping him. That pu- that fucker's just like, fucking throw me, pussies! And they just launched him Damn. in there. And at that point, I knew that that, that, that place was not uh, for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, yeah. That sounds definitely sounds like CMU. That's a party. <laughs> uh, what Plus else? Shit what else we got? Let's buzz through these real quick. Apple TV Plus. Uh, all the commercials are out. All the trailers are out. All the shows look fire. I'm getting it. Yeah, dude. Five bucks a month? Five dollars. Stupid. I mean, they're probably not going to have a ton of content out the gate. That's to be expected, though. But you know everything that they put out is going to be, uh, initially, is going to be a great quality. I heard that J.J. Abrams was in talks with them to mm-hmm. do his stuff, and then he did not sign with there. He went somewhere else. I forget where it was, but yeah. Warner, I think. I don't know. More money. But, oh, yeah. So, that's uh, that's nice. Uh, that show with Jason Momoa looks— It does look good, and they have a morning show that looks pretty decent, so— I mean, you can't go wrong with Steve Carell, Reese Witherspoon, and Jennifer Aniston. Nope. That just seems like that's just gold right there. Yep. It's going to get an Emmy. Probably. <laughs> yeah. That's a safe bet. Speaking of the Emmys, they were they just uh, had one. Game of Thrones won somehow. And I know Peter Dinklage won. And that's all I know. I didn't even watch the Emmys this year. That's how interested I was in that. I missed out on that too. Halsey looked so good. Did she? She always looks so good. She had a mullet at one point, dude, and she was just like. <clears throat> Talking about looks, how, how does the weekend look now? Oh, El Fin de Semana? <laughs> Renamed. <laughs> El Fin de Semana. No, he looks like a. He looks. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Bro, Christ. This dude looks so Latino in these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like a bachata singer. Look at Bro, him. Look. <laughs> El weekend. El weekend. El weekend. <laughs> Now listen to this. This shit's crazy. <laughs> this is music in bachata. <laughs> this shit's crazy. But he like, looked Dominican, actually, if you look at him. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. He looked Dominican. A he, bit. Lo- he looks like, he looks like uh, Pablo Escobar's like third cousin. You know, I, you know right I'm attributing to that look like I am right now to everything. I'm attributing that to Gardner Minshew. Brought the stash back. Now everyone's fucking doing it. Bro, weekend had the stash back for weeks. Nope. 
Yes, he did. Now, dude, yes, Gardner Minshew's had that for fucking the, the, his last four years in junior college. Nobody even knew who he was four Bro, years he ago. he threw for 4,900 yards last year. I know he did. They he said that on back. TV yesterday. He brought it back. No one has swagger like him, bro. It's dude, insane. The stretching with jockstrap only, that's yeah. BDE. Yeah. BDE. <laughs> that's my spirit animal, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> that, that guy's wild. Uh, He's amazing. So... Yeah, uh, Apple TV Plus. We got Antonio Brown. Oh, deal wearing wear watches. Bro, yeah. that shit was crazy though, because like he's wearing like stupid expensive watches uh -huh. in pregame and shit, and then he caught like a big ass watch endorsement out of it. Good for him, man. Yeah, so he refuses to take his watch off during the game, which is hilarious. That's fine. Um, he's getting paid, and it's a super expensive watch. I don't know why you play football with it, but he got he's, endorsements. He's out getting of paid. It, so who cares? Then, yeah, absolutely. he can replace it. Is he getting fined for that? Yes. So they're going to pay his fines. And probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Pay my fines too if I'm getting paid. I know Roger Goodell's <laughs> going to find a way to put him on the commissioner's exempt list for this. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to get more of a penalty than Kareem Hunt did. Jesus. So, you know, that's but that's the logic of the NFL. The no fun league. The no uh, fun league. I like absolutely. That. Um. All right. So, Edgar, what do you have? I had. Where, where, you where's usually, that article? You, that you usually come up. You usually come up with some wild shit. So, well, well, this one here was pretty wild. This this here was about a couple that went to Florida to adopt a child, and the child ended being an adult. Okay, tell me they, more. They they adopted this <laughs> child. From the Ukraine, who they thought was a nine-year-old, and uh, you know they they the, the child moved to their house and they started noticing things about the child. My started God. noticing it wasn't a child. You noticed that it was a fucking adult and it had weird hands. Weird hands, small. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> uh, weird hands, and um, she tried to kill him a few times. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> she tried to uh, poison them. Did and this happen in Florida? Uh, I don't know if it was in Florida, but they, they adopted the child in Florida. They lived somewhere in the States. So they, they started finding out. Moving when, to Canada. When this child had, you know, PMS and, you know, she was going through menstrual. Uh, you know, we At go nine, through. yeah. Yeah, nine. So it was a dwarf. So she was a dwarf. That's fucking She was insane. a dwarf. She was 22 years old. <laughs> now. How do you know? How do you not know? I don't know. But. So, so this couple decided to, you know, hey, we're going to part ways from you. We're going to give you money and put you in an apartment. And they moved to Canada. Well, they had Holy to turn shit, themselves dude. in because they abandoned this supposed child. So they got arrested for child abandonment? Yes, sir. After they got scammed. That's After they got scammed. Awesome, dude. This is the... Oh. <laughs> what? Honestly, they fucking deserve it. Why? <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> They fucking deserve it. No sympathy. No, no sympathy. No, no way. You, that ain't their fault. They got yes, confused, it, man. How did? No, you're fucking dumb at that point. I, you can put me in a room of a hundred children. I can point out the fucking dwarf a hundred <laughs> out of a hundred times. I can be like, that's a fucking adult. You know why? Because well, it has an adult face. If you look at the picture, she really didn't look like a They had a baby man. face, bro. She had a baby face. Well, let me let me find this picture. Cause there's no way, bro. Yeah. There's just I do, I don't believe that for a second. Edgar, you can't point at stock Ukraine photos and be like, <laughs> that's <sorry>. her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was stock now. Yeah, that's just stock Ukrainian yeah. phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, there you go. There's a kid right there. Yo. Is that the kid? That's the kid, and that's the kid right there. Nah, that's definitely a dwarf. That's a dwarf? That's 100% a dwarf. You can tell, bro. Look at the arms. Dude, it's... it's I I it's not difficult to tell, bro. I thought it was really funny not. that they really put not. they put this dwarf or whatever, you know, <laughs> child in an apartment, gave us some money, like, we out. Yeah, we out. We're, <laughs> We're going to Canada. Leaving the country immediately. 
So they were they were just unsure <coughs> when they got them, but when they abandoned it, they were so they already sure. knew they were so adult. sure that they I have yeah. so many questions though. Like, how did this dwarf get into an adoption agency? I don't shit? know, man. Do Ukraine? Like, they not man. only scammed the people, but they, they scammed, scammed the our government. Agency? Somebody oh, dropped the ball, big time. <laughs> yeah, somebody's getting fired. Somebody, oh, somebody got somebody fired. Is fired. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's obviously jail time involved. Yeah. Well, oh, she tried man. to kill this couple too. She tried to poison them. Jesus. Yeah. Why are you going to kill your meal ticket, though? I want to know what the fuck was it's happening. It's like they adopted Chucky. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out what... So you're going to scam your way into being adopted. Yeah. Right? And then you're going to try to kill them when they're your meal ticket? Yeah. that. that just Did she really sense. just try to get adopted for citizenship? And then Probably. Just like, I'm killing you and I'm out. Maybe. Could be. Is there like a grace period on that type of shit though? I don't know. I'm bro. pretty sure she's back in the Ukraine. I, I have a lot of questions on this, but I, I know it's. I I only have questions for the parents. I only have questions. For what the kind of questions? Like, how did you not know? It's clearly a dwarf. Did you just get a nine year old and be like, "Damn, my kid's so bow legged. I must be <laughs> playing soccer for years." Like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> I mean, there are obvious things. There are obvious things. Why is this adult head on a fucking... See, that's, that's the Latino in you. I'll tell you why it happened. Because they were white. Oh, look at this nice little child. I, You know, I... It looks different. It has character. As a white I person, I, I'm going to agree with you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it looks like it was a Florida couple. They adopted it in Florida. It, they adopted it in Florida, but I don't think they lived in Florida. Okay. The problem is they didn't look at the kid for face value. Oh, no, she'll no. grow into it. So grow. Yo, <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's fucking crazy, bro. That is nuts. I just don't understand it. I don't understand. Like, okay, so granted, I don't know shit about adoption, but do you get to pick? Like, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, they get to see the child, meet yeah. the child. Yeah, it's go to like the child's country. It's like a, is it like a lineup? When like you gotta like, man, I don't know if there's out, a like, lineup, like, dude, the, but like the person <laughs> lineup, <laughs> bro, like what? <laughs> yeah, you know, like they're not like when they're oh, when the children are criminals, bro. <laughs> like, you know, how old are you? I don't, ju- I don't just want want a kid that I think looks good. I want to make sure he looks good compared to others. Uh, you know, I want, I'm not I want sure the best how that works, best. man, but I I know that that the pin you know, the one that's gonna be the parent. I want to see who can do the most push-ups. That's the kid I want. Yeah. And then you move him on to the They'll next one. They'll be worried. They might think you might treat that child like a slave, kid. No way. No way. You're just going to be a D1 athlete. Oh, I got you. Best thing in your future, bro. I want the strongest one. <laughs> 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 Landscaping's got to be done. I'll tell you. What landscaping? Uh, In case you can't uh, tell, I'm in yeah. absolutely no position to have a kid anytime soon. No, nah, you're good, man. I'm and great with Jeremy's kids, though. <laughs> that is that is true. So, all right. Well, what else we got? Here. Um, yo, the weekend, vegan woman, the, the vegan oh, woman. Yeah, when you told me woman. that, Edgar, <laughs> the vegan woman. Yeah. <laughs> so this woman in Australia. This happened like three weeks ago. This is when when we had uh, canceled. We canceled, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this this um, young lady from Australia is suing her neighbor because she's a vegan and her neighbors like to grill. She lucky she's not my neighbor. You know how much pork I grill? Well, yeah, bro. You're all Port- day. You're Puerto Rican. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know. I would have been sued. <laughs> but did you hear what happened afterwards, though? <laughs> The after, after, no, I, I didn't so follow after, up with the after story. They found out he that the neighbor was getting sued for grilling. They had a huge cookout right outside oh, that girl's house. Oh, nice! <laughs> like That's a, exactly what I would attend. Like a neighborhood cookout. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a goddamn block. The whole party, hood got bro. together. Yeah, that. Wow, Australia. What yeah, did they cook in some. Australia? Fish. Not the ocean there. Yeah. I don't know if they eat kangaroos. No, that's, that was really where I was leaning. Do they eat <laughs> kangaroo? Can you eat a kangaroo? Are you allowed? Uh, I don't no. know. You're that's... not allowed to eat a kangaroo. Absolutely not. I wouldn't eat a kangaroo. You wouldn't eat a kangaroo? No. If it was legal, though. No. Not even once? Hell no. Why not? It looks like a 
giant rat. But I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, they're they're a little scary. Dude, they're beefy though. Like, it's probably some good meat. <sighs> yeah, I'm out. You wouldn't eat a kangaroo either. No. Even if it was legal. No. Why? Bro, you just got to You're showing the Mexican you side just got, of you. Yeah, eat yeah. anything, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they get hungry and shit. Yo, I'm telling you, they be picking up roaches and shit. I, I won't <laughs> eat a bug. I mean, for money, I'll eat a bug. But See, he's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got to understand, my best friend growing up he was, ate bugs uh, with was you. a man by the name of uh, Chris Amood. And he every ate bugs day, with you? Every, yeah. Nice. Every day at lunch, uh, our young life leader would come into our young come life to school. Leader. And uh, he would just bring something fucked up to eat that he would find at like a market or something like that. Like, Shout I mean, out, Corey. I mean, Corey? Is that your young, your young Oh, leader? no, it was after oh. him. It was Tony Pyle. Oh, got you. And he'd bring us like pig stomach. Like, oh, yeah, I'm out. Mm. Pig stomach's actually really good. Yeah. Super tender. It, Love it. it. You're definitely Mexican. I mean, yeah, I like to eat pig stomachs to feet. I don't eat the feet. I don't eat the feet. Feet's not for me. I don't like frog legs either. That's ah, weird. No, I'm out. Like, there's certain things. Are you gator? I mean, so, so, the. I've never had gator. I wouldn't have gator. I would try it. Nope. I mean, how are you going to say you don't like something if you don't try it? Oh, man. If it smells like that nasty water out there, no. But it. These canals stink, bro. But what about, like, I mean, what's the craziest thing? So, what's the craziest thing you've eaten? I don't eat anything crazy. I know better. Dude, you haven't lived. Yeah, I have. You got to eat some crazy shit, bro. Deer. Deer is the craziest thing I ever ate. Deer? Really? That's not the craziest thing, but yeah, I've eaten deer. Uh, venison. We know a thing or two about venison. Yeah, well, you're from, you know, the country. You were from you're Michigan, bro. You guys are from the country, man. There's like oh. a severe deer population problem up there, so. Bro, I'll tell you what. I did not live in the country, and... Moving to Florida, especially yeah. where we live in Northport and yeah, stuff, this is has made, me, has made me realize just how much, like, where I lived was just hood. Was it? I mean, well, it, yeah, wasn't, it, it wasn't. We did it walk through. Oh, no. Shit. no, no, no. It, I, I seen where you grew up. Uh, Jeremy uh, went on Google Earth yeah. one day. Yeah, I showed him. Yeah, it, 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 it looked kind of rough. A little yeah, fucky. Yeah, it was rough. A little fucky. Yeah, I mean, you, Baker you Street ain't no joke. You weren't from farmland or anything like that. No. Not, so we went to the same high school. We went to like a Hick High School, but I didn't even live in Eaton Rapids. I, I, I grew yeah, up yeah, in Lansing school. my whole life. How many people in your high school? <laughs> 200, maybe. That's it? Oh, uh, per class, maybe. Per class, yeah. yeah. So probably less than 1,000 overall, though. Okay. For sure. 2,000. Mm. I didn't like sardines. Less than yeah. 2,000. <laughs> yeah. You had 2,000? That's what you're saying? In high school, yes. But there's like 40 fucking high schools in New York, right? Oh, there's more than that. Way more, bro. In New York City? 16 million people, bro. No, there's about 11 million, but yeah. That's just crazy. I couldn't even imagine that. Never been, huh? Never. I went to New York when I was like one, so I guess it doesn't really count. You don't fucking remember that. Nope. Stop. Doug, I got pictures to prove it. (laughs) I, I was there when I was one. Shit was like fucking. Fucking, I was there. In the 90s. Been there, done that, bro. No, I'm trying you to went go, to McDon- McDonald's. Edgar was on the block when you were one, bro. Yeah, I was on the block. Straight up. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm going there this winter at some oh, point, yeah. I think. I got, I got to go link up with Sammy in Brooklyn. So. Oh, he lives in Bushwick. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? You said the nice side. So I was like, yeah, I'll go check him out. Nice so, side. It's nice now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters to me, bro. <laughs> you said it's nice uh, now. I was like, who bet? Uh-uh. Neighborhood was bad back in the day. That every neighborhood was bad back then. Not them, I feel like. Pretty much. Is it all getting gentrified and shit? It's all gentrified. All of it. How do you feel about gentrification? Because I know it, there's like people that have like the one side where they're like all for it because it benefits the city. It, it's good and bad. I mean, the bad part of it is that they made it very expensive and yeah, people had to people move. Out, yeah. I didn't really go through that. I left a little bit before the gentrification okay. really hit. I, I saw it happening and then it really hit. Okay. So I kind of knew the direction that the city was going to go with Brooklyn. So I said, let me bounce before it gets. Yeah, I think homeboy that expensive. lives in that lives in Brooklyn right now, like he has a three bedroom that he splits. He probably with. lives in a railroad apartment. Yeah, and he splits it with three people, and they each pay like fifteen hundred. Yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a five six hundred bucks back then. I believe it. It's so fucked. And this is talking fifteen years ago. Jesus. In those areas. It's not long. 
Is it getting expensive here? I mean, it is getting expensive here. I'm glad I'm here now. You're here at the right time. The city's growing. Yo, this place is gonna blow up. Especially with all the shit that we got in the pipeline. Yeah. I mean, cool. I feel like we've just been rambling for a while. We have. We have. That's all right. It's all a right. process so with everything. So let's uh, jump straight to song choices for the week because we're just going to wrap this up. Yo. Yeah. You want me to start first? off? Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. We're going to yeah, go yeah. with uh, Casanova and Fabulous. So Brooklyn. Yo. When I first heard, tra- heard that track, I knew for a fact by Casanova's voice that that dude has actually killed people in real life. For think sure. So? Oh, dude. He, Possibly. He says things a certain way, and I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. All right. This is So Brooklyn. Fab Casanova and Fab. This track. <laughs> I love that. So Fucking much. We just got a different kind of swag. Right, no, man, so like, on. so like one thing, like I'm not a huge like drill rap fan, but Brooklyn drill rap is real cool. On, I fuck at with it. it I well, fuck, well, see, we the thing the is, like, at it. You, Stop you, it. I mean, Detroit not drill a, rap mm. goes hard in the fucking paint. Yeah, bro. Detroit, Detroit. Detroit drill rap goes hard in the fucking yeah. paint, bro. It's just not my thing. Yeah, like, it, it's the definitely out. a conversation to be had. Um, but those, are, I think those are probably the only two cities I'm going to have that Chicago. type of conversation No, with. Chicago. Chicago drill rap's yeah. crazy, too. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And don't sleep on Houston, either. But, ah, fuck them. Ah, no, I can't say that. Either. Yeah, so, but it's, either. it's um, no, I mean, Fab Fab was the perfect feature to have on that. Not yeah, just because Not too. just because he's from Brooklyn, but mm-hmm. just he, after Casanova goes that hard, you bring Fab in, and he's the cool guy. Yeah. I mean, he's got the swag. He's yeah. got so he went in on that. That was that's that's a that's a really dope song, in my opinion. That um, song's super hard, for sure. I mean, it was so hard it went viral. Everybody wanted to get on so something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what Brooklyn do, though. Shout out to Brooklyn and all the people out there. All right, so I guess I'll go next. Yo, let me tell you something about Jeremy, bro. This shit's crazy to me. Because, like, Jeremy will play some shit the fuck out, right? Uh, like, I'm sure you noticed that. But Jeremy's palate is so goddamn big. And he just always catches the right vibe. It's, it's annoying. Somebody that white should not be able to catch a vibe like that. It's stupid. You, you, you know where I respected Jeremy? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because this white boy was talking about rap. He, he can and talk about you know, we laugh rap. at white people. We really do. <laughs> we, I mean, I'm married to a white woman. I love white people. Don't get me wrong. But uh, he said, you know who I like? I like Rakim. I said, get the fuck out of here. You know Rakim? <laughs> Rak- Rakim's, in my, <laughs> Rakim's in my top 10. Yeah, I know. I so, was like, wow. I said, he's, I mean, you guys are, he's not... That much younger than me, but he is young. I, I was shocked that you knew who Rakim oh, yeah. was because you was a baby I'm when a he was out. I'm a huge hip hop head, bro. Yeah. So it's like, no, I, I know my shit when it comes to that. But <laughs> like Josh said, I, I do play shit out. Like I play when I find a song I like or an artist I like, I play it out for weeks. But I do listen to everything while I'm playing it out. Stop. The issue is now that so much music hey, is coming like out so fast. Yes. You know, music is coming out so <laughs> fast now that it's like. Yeah, it, it's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up now. So my song of the week is uh, by Kid Ink. It came out a few years ago, but I was just uh, in that in that just trying to catch that vibe the other day. I'm putting together a couple new playlists on my phone. So, and this is called Sunset. Such a summer vibe, which is cool, because like it's always summer here. So yeah. I could fucks with that. <laughs> yeah. You know, you don't get sad playing that playlist in like a month. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey, can you hold on one second? Can you pause it real quick? Can you pause it real quick? Lobo! Quiet on the set! <laughs> Sorry. All right. Thank you. All right. This is Kid Ink. Sunset. <laughs> I miss Kid Ink like this. Yeah. All right, that's Kid Ink with Sunset. That's a banger, dude. Yeah, that, that was a good song. Kid. That whole EP was such a good feel. 
Kid Ink has got some really good EPs, though. Like, just in general. He puts out those smaller projects, really. I mean, he does a good job. Yeah, on he does them. those four to six song EPs, just mm-hmm. like perfect. Oh, yeah. Always a vibe. All, All right. right. So, your song, <sighs> boom. All right. Mandatory 10 seconds of silence. <coughs> All right, mandatory 10 seconds of silence before this song. This is 30 Seconds to Mars from yesterday. That's 30 Seconds to Mars from yesterday. That was dope. Throwback. Dope. That is my favorite band of all time. Of all time. Period. Period, period, period. It's my whole right arm. That's them. (laughs) That is true. Um, Yeah, we've seen them live a couple times. He sings like that live. Yeah, um, exactly like that. Yep. It's stupid. It's very pretty Arguably better. Phenomenal performers and definitely a great song. I'll tell you pretty what. Pretty timeless song, honestly. So I've been listening to them a lot more lately. And especially like the things like what I post on Instagram. Like I've broken uh, five running records this month. And I will completely attribute it to only listening to the 37 Stars <laughs> albums on my run. Yeah. The first time Kings and Queens came out, I thought I was going to run through the truck in front of me. Yeah. I was like, I'm not stopping. (laughs) For sure. For sure. All right. So I guess that's it. Those were our songs of the week. Um, Anything else? Any last? Oh, update. Um, Expect some gigs from me in uh, Fort Myers soon. We got some big things in the work there. Got some other big things in the work for Fort Myers too. Can't talk too much about them. Um. Faded is done. Mix completely done. I have the final version of that. That's completely done. Second one's almost done as well. I just sent off three more, and I sent off two beat packs. Best part about Faded is there's no lyrics. Because I don't have to do a lyric video. There's lyrics. Yeah, but you're not getting a lyric video. No, we're doing an actual music video. (laughs) Which we still got to do a goodbye music video. Yes. You're slacking. Yes. Okay. We will do do one. Eventually. Eventually. Yeah. We'll get right. it done. So anything else? Any vlogging? Do you want to vlog this week? It's been two weeks. I don't know. If I got something cool going on, I might. So like, at first it was like, yeah, let's do it every week. But um, I don't know. Um, I'll do a little poll and see if they want to see it an every week thing or if they only want to see it like when I'm going to do crazy stuff. But at some point, yeah, I'm going to get You should probably annoying. do it every week. All right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll figure out something. Jeremy and I will go somewhere this week. Figure something out, so expect that. Um, And I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else. All right, this might get loud. Episode number 15, we are out. See ya. (laughs)